Welcome back to Done With Depression. Today I am going to be working on these panels here. So this is essentially just light cardboard and it's kind of like peeling off and stuff and it's pretty flimsy. So I'm going to unscrew all of these, um, pull this off and then make a template like I did for the flooring. And I just have a quarter inch sub flooring and I'm gonna make a template, eventually cut that out, put it back in here, and I might do um, the wood that I did for the floor, or I might do like a little pop of color. Um, I'm still going to be painting the bed, but the bed needs to dry for 30 days apparently before I can paint it. So it has to dry for 30 days. Uh, you clean it off with the solvent, prime it, paint it and then it'll be able to go in the van so i'm gonna be working on this today probably won't get to actually cut it out uh, because i don't have the scroll saw here but i'll get to trace it see what's behind here and go from there all right so i got the panel off here and you can see where the screws were. And it looks like there was actually space for a speaker here, which my model didn't come with, but kind of cool to see that the holes are still drilled out anyway. If I really wanted to, I could probably put some insulation in here, but this seems like it's pretty well glued down still. So I don't really want to pull the whole thing off, but I'll show you the screws that I pulled out. So, they're just little plastic pieces. And let's see if I can get it here. So this goes into the panel and then there's little plastic screws as well. So that goes in there like that and it holds it down. So now I can line this up. This is my template that I just took off and you wanna make sure it's lined up on the corners if you can, because it'll make it easier to deal with later. And you just trace it out. You don't want it to move as you're going because that'll mess it up too. But just wanna make a good line. And it does look like some of these are rounded more than the others. So this is gonna be the top up here and this is gonna be the bottom. And then you'll wanna mark your holes as well. And if you mark your holes, then you know where to drill into and you can keep the same holes that are already in the van. If not, you can re-drill the holes, but ideally you want to keep what you already got. Makes life a lot easier. So I'm trying to get as accurate as I can here. And then I will take the other panel off and do the other panel. All right, so I'm trying to build a template for this. So when I put up my sheeting here, um, I'll have all the corners and stuff ready to go. 
and this stuff is pretty much just detail work uh, the more time you take on getting your template right so that you can cut the wood perfect the better it's gonna look so I started out with just a piece of cardboard here and I just kind of held it up here and kind of looked to see where it was gonna match and stuff like that and then I just rough cut it and then from there I just checked and adjusted it until I got the right angle and stuff that I want so you can see here this is my angle and then it comes in to go over this corner part here which is this and then it's gonna be straight and go straight down so luckily on this piece there's not a lot that you really have to fix besides this corner piece because it slopes and curves back down here this is at an angle so you have to get that angle right but at the front of the van it's mostly just straight and there's not a lot that's gonna get in the way so I just took some time made a good template here and then when I got it how I liked it I took a bigger piece of cardboard and traced this over the big piece of cardboard and then I'm gonna use um, probably like a razor razor edge and cut the real template out because this I was just using scissors to kind of rough cut and figure out where I wanted to get it but the more time you spend doing some of this detail stuff the better it's gonna look and the cleaner it's gonna look so don't rush this take your time get some cardboard sit down relax go at it until it's good so that's it for the van today uh, next time we go to Chris's house and see his shop, I'm going to be able to complete these panels and cut out the wood for um, the back panel there. So we'll be able to get all that in and hopefully the sunroof and maybe my pop-up table. So check back next time for that. Check out the playlist at the end and I'll see you guys soon.